stupid hood. I hate you. Why are you kicking our hood? I hate it. It's my enemy. It's ruined everything. So we just got the Nova back from paint and it looked really nice. And it's been very windy here. And this hood, this fiberglass hood, which we aren't even using on the project and which was all the way across the yard, got picked up by the wind, came cartwheeling across the yard. And instead of hitting one of the many garbage cars that we have here, it went straight to the Nova, yep. somehow into this alley and dented it. I don't know if I can capture that dent. It's, it's... Try it from this angle. Oh, dented yeah. Dented it and, and scratched it. Yep. And it's not like it did that in the back of the car or something where we That's could maybe shitty. just like buff it out and be like, it's fine. It did it on the it's very Driver hard. <laughs> fender. The, the freaking Nova is so shiny, it's hard to capture the damage. It's right there. Yeah. And it's big and it's right on the driver's door, so you cannot, like, you can't just buff it out and be like, it's fine, because it's the one thing you're going to see every time you go to drive the car. Like, you can have a whole car that looks terrible, but you just have to have the driver's side door look okay, because that's what you're going to see if you own the car. I'm just uh, really thankful that it didn't hit this truck because they were both sitting here and you can imagine the damage that could have it could have been done to that. How, how would you tell? Uh, <laughs> Actually, you know, this truck was totally shiny paint and the wind was so bad it just stripped it completely. This is this is what the weather is like here in Los Angeles. It's pretty radical. So let this be a lesson to you. If uh, you have an unsecured cowl induction fiberglass Nova hood in your yard, don't leave the painted car outside. We have made some progress on this Nova. Yeah, why, um, don't, why, don't, you tell, uh, why don't you tell folks the, the good news? Well, let's start with immediately the door handle and the lo door lock now have to come back off to repaint <laughs> this door. All right, that's not good news. That's, that was good news in that, like, oh, look, it looks like a car you could open the door on. But, um, and, you know, now, then the painter won't get his hand stuck in it. But, no, now that has to come off, and he's going to get his hand stuck in it again. Well, let's walk, let's walk around it here. And we started putting it together. Yeah. We've added the uh, 350 emblems. The, uh, the grill is in. This little plastic filler panel. Yeah, that looks nice. Is that a uh, Chevy color right there? That is uh, Chrysler Dark Argent Silver, uh -huh. but I thought it looked pretty good on this. Yeah. Uh, we even added a 350 emblem on the other side. Uh, hood louvers are installed, courtesy of Alana. Yeah, funny story on the hood louvers. Um, they, it's multi-part, so like this sort of um, barbecue grill is one piece, and this nice little bezel is another piece, and there's a gasket. and. There was a lot of argument on the internet as to where that gasket went. I don't remember if we did a video about this when we, when we installed that hood, but, but uh, there's a lot of argument on the internet. Some people said the gasket would go under the bezel, and some people said it went in between the grill and the bezel, and nobody could decide, nobody, nobody could agree, and then we found the original parts build book for this car, and, uh, and it had the answer in it, and the answer is that it goes between the barbecue grill and the bezel. So in here, it does not go between the paint and the bezel. So now you know, yep. Canon. Yeah, just like GM built it. We also learned that uh, you cannot actually put this, you cannot install these pieces here with the fender on the car. <laughs> we have to pull the fender away. There's a, a little guild thing that goes here and you can't get to the nuts. So that's gotta be pulled back to put the nuts on. Yeah, we're learning a lot of things about this Nova. We did. Uh, Retrofit some shinier wheels from our friend Dave. Yeah, I mean, you know, I kind of miss the other wheels. They were pretty cool. They're, they're just still cool. Yeah, and, uh, I really feel like maybe we should we should go with that look. You can vote in the comments, you know, if you think we should put these back on. Yeah, we can go either way, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, pretty much they're equally cool. And we got the back mostly together. The uh, door lock works. Trump yeah, lock. that's great. That yeah. doesn't have to come off unless, you know, I drop something on the back of it while oh, we're filming so this. So that's that's pretty much the state of our o uh, Opal. I almost called it Opal. The state of our Nova right now. <laughs> <laughs> eh, seen one small car, seen them all. The back looks pretty good. It's got taillights. It's got a bumper. That bumper was 
quite the challenge to get fairly straight. It's yeah, fairly it's straight. I'm not going to get too close to yeah, it. Don't, don't look at it. It's fairly good. Fairly good. Good enough for a Nova. Um, so yeah, that's the basic Nova update. You know, we do have an engine all ready to go. You so, can't even so, see them somewhere them. in there. The, the worst thing about this story is the Nova now has to go back to the Putty Palace to to get the paint corrected. Yes. Again. Again. Yeah. Um, Which so is disappointing. It is disappointing, and you know, I know a lot of you are Roadkill fans. You know David Freiberger, who I used to work for, and Freiberger has always said, "Do not paint cars. Painted cars are the worst." They do seem to be a magnet for destruction. I mean, this truck was sitting right here and the hood didn't even touch it. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, paint's looking pretty pristine, looking pretty good. Nah, that's an old scratch and, um, oh wait, Tom, what's this? Oh my. What's that? Damage. Yeah, you're right. It did hit the truck. True tragedy. I mean, the Nova, whatever, yeah. but the truck. Yeah, that, you can't fix that. That's, no, that, can't. that patina is not, how, not, this, not supposed to be that way. This is 50 years of patina. Um, anyway, there's a lesson. Learn from us. Do not leave uh, unsecured hoods in your backyard because the wind will take it and throw it into your painted Nova. Yeah, or just don't bother painting anything. 